Hey guys, I'm here with IKEA and they've let me be part of their staff today. So I've sneaked in and what we're gonna do today is check out a few bedrooms. So is it just me or has the bedroom basically become the new living room, dining room, workplace area, and honestly everything else, right? I mean, working from home basically means working in bed, right? So if you're gonna be spending all that time in bed, then you might as well make it the best area of comfort in your house. So let's see how we can do that. So let's start with the bed frame. So if you take a look at here, you can easily tie up your pillows to the bed frame so they don't, they don't slide down when you're sitting comfortably. And if you take a look down here, there are really cool storage boxes that you could put under your bed and you can store in anything from your pillows to your blankets and you make use of unwasted space. So this is what memory foam feels like and I can't emphasize how important the mattress is just because they're so supportive and comfy and you can even add another layer with a mattress protector. I'm gonna stay here. Little note on the mattresses, they have a 25 year guarantee and a 90 day love it or exchange it policy. The mattress pad. So they're soft and warm and comfortable and they can be removable, they can be machine washable. And honestly, the best part of it all is that it gives you, it, it's gonna feel like you're sleeping on clouds, like those fancy hotel rooms, you know what I'm talking about. And your choice of duvet is crucial. I mean, wrap me up in a duvet during the day and I promise I will be blissfully asleep within five minutes. This one right here is breathable, which means that it keeps an even temperature throughout the night. And that kind of solves the universal problem of one leg in, one leg out in that whole situation. And I know I emphasize a lot on the mattress, but the pillow is such a personal choice. I mean, either they're too high, too low, too soft, too hard. So I mean, it's really important that you know exactly which one fits you best. I mean, really, it always depends on whether you're a tummy sleeper or back sleeper or side sleeper. I mean, look at these guys. They look super relaxed. They got it figured out and you should too. Quilt covers are just as important. You wanna make sure that when you're buying cotton, they're made sustainably just like this one. And it's always a great option to add a bedspread. And this one right here, it's durable, it's texture makes it that it's even nicer the more you use it. And I mean, it's just a nice way to style your bed and add a nice layer to it. So now that we're done talking about what's on the bed, let's move on to what's next to the bed. This bedside table right here, it's made of light wood. And I mean, it adds such a natural feel to your bedroom. And I mean, look at that handle. It's made of leather and adds such a nice feel to the aesthetic. This right here, you might think it's just a lamp. It's not, it's actually a portable charger. And all of this just screams positive energy. So if you have additional space in your bedroom, then you might as well fill it up with a chest of drawers and look at all those options. But this one right here is the winner. Look at those smooth drawers and solid wood. And it comes with a safety fitting to be attached to the wall. And we're always preaching self-love and self-care. So having a mirror in your bedroom is evident really. But look at this one right here. It has such a particular shape and the frame makes it that you could just place anything that you want on there. Makeup, your phone, your wallet. Look at how nice it is. You know what I've realized? Everything is a lot easier once you do it from the comfort of your bed. So my question is, is it too early to take a nap? Because I, that, all of that was very tempting.